Hey everybody, it's Matthew Rathbun and welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And in this video, we are going to take some time to do something that maybe isn't just a me thing. And that is we're gonna reverse engineer our PowerPoint to get to the outline syllabus and all the other stuff that everybody wants us to submit when we're teaching a class. So I create a lot of presentations, some of them for other people, some of them to, to teach myself. And in any case, whether it's uh, creating the content to be sold to someone or submitting for continuing ed or whatever it is, everybody wants these tedious things that no one reviews after the first five minutes anyways, with the syllabus or syllabi or syllabuses, I don't know, whatever the plural that is, and a timed outline and objectives and all those things. And so what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna take the PowerPoint being a visual first person. So I create my PowerPoints for my course outline. I storyboard them, I design them, and then I reverse engineer to get the materials that we need and to uh, create student manuals and all those things. And so if you're like me and you do that, this system, this these steps in this prompt are gonna help you be able to create all that stuff much more easily. So let's jump right in there. All right, so here's our PowerPoint. It is a 138 slides, and it is designed to help real estate agents create systems and productivity tools to uh, to master their business. And so it's a lot of content, a lot of words, a lot of information, and it's an eight hour program. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we are gonna go to our handy handy chat GPT. And in there, we are going to then uh, copy in, so we're gonna drag the PowerPoint onto the browser window. And you can see it's yellow square there. And there's a little white circle that'll turn white as the PowerPoint is uploading. This one has a lot of content, a lot of media in it I should have taken out, but uh, you get the gist. And while that ring is going, I'm gonna copy in this prompt. And I'll leave this prompt in the description for you in this YouTube video so you can go grab it. Um, and maybe you can even create a better one. But this prompt says, you're a vocational educator in the adult education system. Take the following PowerPoint presentation and create a college level syllabus from the materials, including five learning objectives, a marketing title, a course description of no more than two paragraphs and an upbeat and positive tone. Include a timed outline of eight hours with 10 minute breaks for every hour of education in a one hour period. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit there and I'm gonna let ChatGPT take its time reading the content of the PowerPoint and it will take a few seconds and then it's gonna start outputting all the content we're looking for. And so I'm gonna let it just work and churn here. And so it's given me a better title already, Efficiency, Mastery, Streamlining, Success for Realtors. I, I like that a lot better than what I had. And then it's gonna give me this really good description. And again, anything you're using with AI is a first draft for you. You still have to bring in your own humanity and tone, your own creativity and experiences and mix them all together to edit this. But now I've got a fairly good um, process going here. So it's gonna outline some good learning objectives, and again, I've only asked for five primary learning objectives. Let's see what it gives us. Yep, and those, those look pretty good. Turning away pretty good there. And then it's gonna start doing the math for me and it's gonna go look at my content and uh, give me a, a nice break of these outlines. Now, the one thing I've noticed in this is sometimes it is easier for me to say, please do this in 30 minute increments or 15 or whatever, because uh, otherwise you get kind of these more broad terms, like you get like CC or 50 minute hours, and it has automatically figured out what my division headings are. If your whatever client you have you're submitting this to, or if you're submitting it for continuing ed approval, if they're fine with that, just roll with that. But if they want something more tedious, you can ask it to be more detailed. So I'm gonna say, this is a pretty good, now um, please, uh, reduce the, please uh, be more specific in the timed outline. And uh, let's see what it comes up with. And it's very nice and pos uh, positive. And let's see, it's giving us better, uh, better font or format here with objectives for the time and it's breaking down in a bullet point. And this is probably gonna work for most of what you're looking for, but you could tweak it a little bit here. Now, what I'm gonna do is once it's gotten, given me that content here, and I'm gonna copy this and there is a little bit of trick to this. So I'm gonna just copy this information down here. I'll learn to copy in just a second. While I'm doing that though, 
I um I want to do this. I'm going to go a step further. Create a meaningful marketing um, plan to show real estate agents the value of this program. And I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And guess what it's going to do? It's going to kick out a good start of a marketing plan and boom, there it is. Uh, and it's going to, um, yep. It's going to tell us who our target audience is and do a little consumer persona, what our unique value proposition is for this product all the marketing stuff we need to help whoever our client is selling our, our class for us. It's just a beautiful thing. And so much time is saved by doing this. So while that starts turning away and you can imagine what it's going to do there now, I'm going to open up a Word document. I already have a pre-formatted Word document here uh, that I use for presentation summaries. And one of the tricks that I'm going to show you is when you're copying and pasting, you're going to copy and paste if you copy and paste just out of ChatGPT, it gives you a lot of background and all that kind of stuff you don't want. So in Word, go to File and Edit and uh, Paste to Match Formatting. And it'll actually put it in there. This put it in bold, but that leads get you a start. And it'll use whatever font you'd already started. And then you can unbold the things that uh, and space the things that you want to and just clean up a little bit. But it's, there it is. There's your learning objectives. There's your... Uh, your marketing stuff is all done. That's it. So go play with that. I think it'll really help you if you are trying to get a little bit more professional in your syllabus and your end result to uh, do this and then save a ton of time. So hope that helps you. And as always, look to see forward, uh, looking forward to see you at the next video.